What's up guys, Dopesunner930 here, um, with oddly enough, a uh, mod chip unboxing for the Xbox 360. Um, so as you can see, what we have in front of us is the Slim Proto V2. Um, this is the last chip that Executor is going to be making as far as I know, um, for the Slim consoles at least. I think there was talk at one point, I believe, about a, a revised chip for the fat consoles, um, but I'm not sure if that's still something they're, they're considering or if they kind of moved on. But um, this is going to be the last chip that they made for uh, the the Slim consoles, and it's going to be an RGH chip. It's the Slim Proto V2. Um, this is going to be compatible with every Slim console. So we're talking Trinities, all Corona revisions, as well as from what I remember seeing the uh, the Slim that they came out with after, which is like the I want to say it's called the Xbox 360 Slim E, which I've never even had one in front of me. Um, I don't know if I'll ever actually see one of those pass through my hands, but um, anyways, let's go ahead and just. Take a quick little unboxing of this and see what comes inside. You know what? I think I need my scissors. One second. I haven't done a mod chip unboxing <laughs> in a long time. It feels kind of weird. Let's go ahead and cut this open. All right. Let's see what we've got inside. We have got a uh, double shielded cable. Um, this is nice. From what I, I remember, when they gave the double shielded cables out before, you actually had to like snip them and create your own ground wire, and so they really simplified it and made it so it's ready to go right out of the box. So that's very cool, I will admit, because it was kind of a pain in the ass to have to do it yourself. Um, so that's cool. And what else have we got in here? We've got the uh, cables for the slims. Um, yeah. Normally I'm used to seeing with the Cool Runners a Slim in a fat bag, but since this is just for Slims, we've got the cables for the Slim consoles. And we've got a little uh, Slim Post QSB. This is the V3 version. I don't think I've actually used this version before. Uh, but we got that. And then we've got the main chip itself, which actually looks pretty dang small. Let's see. All right, we've got the double-sided adhesive, which we always have. And then... Um, here is the chip itself. So it really just looks down kind of like a shrunken uh, CR3 Pro or CR3 Lite uh, is kind of what it looks like. Uh, I think the goal with this one they said was to make something that would be a little more simplistic uh, with you know their optimized boot timing which is kind of what they always say but I really think that with this one they took all the things they liked and didn't like about each of their revisions and kind of incorporated it into this one chip. Um, so anyways let me kind of just do a real closey close up so you guys can see. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, it doesn't like that. Oh, I might not be able to get a really good close up for you guys. That might be it. Oh, I might be as close as I can get it for you guys. But as you can see, you've got the um, the usual um, points to solder to right there. The three point three. Uh, is it 3.3 .3 or 5 volts? No, the ground, 5 volts standby. We've got C, D, E, F. We've got the dip switches right there. Uh, looks like we've got a couple of jumper options right here. Um, yeah, that's really it. And then there's a C, R, E, N right there, which might be for the demon. I'm going to say I think that's for the demon, the wire you'd solder on. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to be doing an actual install video for you guys. <clears throat> so hopefully a lot of my... Um, kind of older fans that have been with me for a while that are not really digging the new stuff can appreciate that I'm doing it. Um, but this is actually going to be, I'm, I'm quite positive, my last tutorial um, for Xbox 360 modding related uh, installs or something like that. I'm not saying I will do won't do any more of like Xbox 360 related things at all, but um, the last uh, install. And I'm only doing this actually because one of my... Uh, one of my buddies locally that does a bunch of repairs and mods and stuff like that, he had a client that wanted this done, so he did, he hit me up and said, hey, can you do it? And I said, you know, yeah, fine. I haven't you know dealt with one of these, so I think it'll be kind of fun to install on a console. So hopefully I'll be getting that out to you guys this next week here. That is the goal. Uh, be looking for that, guys. And I'll put a link in the description if I can find where they sell this at, because I know X consoles stopped selling a lot of Executor's products. But uh, I'm actually pretty excited to see how this thing performs, and uh, hopefully you guys are too. So... Once again, guys, this is the Slim Proto V2 from Team Executor. It's going to be for all Xbox 360 Slim consoles um, on any dash as far as I know, and it's going to be the latest RGH chip for them. So thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below.